evening and welcome to News 360 on TV3 where we're telling you that as the 10-day ultimatum to government to reduce by a third. And our infocus segment is on hardships across the country, which is still under our radar. Tonight, we look at more families affected by adversities. So imagine living in a rural community where it may take you two hours on foot to access health care in another village, even in emergencies. It may seem unbelievable for residents in urban centers, but true for inhabitants at Mafia Dapo in the central town district of the Volta region. Poshia Gabo here joined two patients, Mama Aju and Gifty, as they assess health care and brings you the twists and turns of the journey. It was 6 Saturday morning, the 19th of October 2013, when the new steam began the journey to Mafia Dakpo in the central town district of the Volta region. On our arrival, we met some village folk who were just returning from the riverside. Others were also going about their daily activities. But the sight of two people, an elderly woman, Mama Jo and a young child, Gifty, lying outside a hut, caught our attention. Mama Jo, we were told, has arthritis. This means her joints are inflamed. But her condition demanded immediate medical attention. Meanwhile, Gifty, who was down with malaria last week, is ill again. We found out Gifty and Mama Jo could not go to the nearest health center, which was four kilometers away, because there were no vehicles available in the village. Neighbors were only waiting and relying on the benevolence of young men in the village to send them to the nearest health center. After an hour, some young men volunteered to carry the elderly woman, Mama Jo, to the hospital. Without a stretcher and an ambulance, they had no option than to invent one. <laughs> then the four kilometer walk to the nearest health center began on foot with Gifty and her mother tagging along. It was a strenuous activity that required physical effort. But just after five minutes, the young men were tired and had to take a break. We are tired. We don't have the road. We don't have anything in there. That is why we have carried it our head. The, that why we are rising here. Of Maracama to Miaboho, Taki Miss Ottona Gethe, Mazotu Vigne, Vagro Gay, the detention, Tamajama Bolamer. One, two, three. After ten minutes of rest, they continued the walk again. As we journeyed on, strength began to fail, and the young men became frustrated. It was hot and the sun was scorching. One of the young men who volunteered to carry Mama Jo had to use branches of a neem tree as shade for her. Mama Nye Jo Domi Kyo Ya Koji. Nyakbo, Ofu Mwevana Nyakbo Otala. Mila Fosom, Shisha Mi Koma Manye Le Eta Koji Na Koji. After 10 minutes of rest, we continued the walk again. 45 minutes had passed and we were yet to arrive. At this point, everyone was exhausted. <laughs> One hour had passed and we were still not at the hospital. I could only pray silently that Mama Jo's condition would not deteriorate. 
Fortunately for Gifty and her mother, a motorbike arrived and they had to take the lead, promising to wait for us along the way to catch up with them. The news team continued the journey with Mama Jo and the young men with frequent breaks along the way, even near a cemetery. After two hours, 11 breaks, we finally arrived at the health center. A journey which could have taken about 15 minutes by road had to be made in two hours. For many poor people in rural Ghana, accessing health care is a major challenge. Dozens of inhabitants at Mafia Dato have died needless deaths as a result of snake bites and in the process of childbirth just because they could not make it in time to a health facility. Mama Jo and Gifty may have survived what could have been a deadly situation, but the story may not be the same the next time round. Despite efforts made by successive governments to address challenges in the health sector, there are still some gaps that must be filled, especially in rural communities. Until residents of Mafia Dato see a remarkable improvement in accessing health care, they will continue to gamble with their health. Porsche Gabo, TV3. Mm.